maybe the power's been cut off, eh? What a laugh! It's up to you. What kind of a choice is that? The only one you have. Because it's a really, really interesting staging concept. We're still at the Ernie Checkers Theater at Thornlow University, but we're using almost every inch of, of the theater and, and also kind of secondary spaces. So, you know, some of the action of the play takes place in uh, the, the shop, the workshop area, which isn't actually part of the stage, but <clears throat> we've appropriated it for this production because it just, it, it's a really great location for us. And, and so rather than the audience being in a fixed place, they're actually moved through the space at various times during different scenes. We hope and we think that the audience will also experience this kind of parallel journey as they're led through the space into different parts of the space, into different locations, different settings. So there's always this kind of interesting dynamic between performer, play, audience, mm. that I think will be very interesting for, for people to experience. What condition? You must do as I say for the rest of your life. What's it like to be on stage with your son? You know, obviously, Kel and I are very close, um, and we love each other, but these two characters are really at loggerheads with each other and and Myra in fact is is quite vicious towards him in trying to extract the truth so I keep getting notes from our director that uh, you shouldn't pat him you shouldn't touch him you shouldn't you shouldn't look as though you're familiar with him or that you know you have any affection for him at all so I have to you know really work at maintaining uh, this cold uh, hatred for this young man. <laughs> sure, sure, okay! What have I got to lose? 